Hi guys, I've got a nice little video here again about something very cool I've just worked out recently is how to increase your texture detail by making use of um, ambient occlusion and emissive uh, texture maps. I mean, as you know, Copycube can only use basically one texture. Um, the second texture is either for normal maps with dynamic lighting or um, light maps with uh, baked, baked, baked lights, light mapping with uh, that thing up, uh, we're using that. Um, so basically you, so basically, we only have one texture slot available, f for the most part in uh, Copycube. You can mix two together but then you can't use any light mapping or normal maps if you do that. Like there is a, a uh, <coughs> fake reflective which will then bring up two, two slots that way. Uh, it'll merge two textures together, but but uh, if you want to use normal maps, you can't do that. So you're limited to basically one texture. Uh, I want to show you how you can increase the resolution. Well, it's not really resolution; it's the texture detail. That it's it's um, so that that texture there. Um, as you know, all the textures come separate by default. You've got ambient occlusion there. You've got um, your base color emissive metallic uh, and sometimes roughness um, it's all separate um, now I want to show you that you can actually get the detail from this ambient occlusion which is like a shading actually it's like shading and apply it to your main texture to give it better depth uh, that's what I'm going to do now so that's your default 4k 4k we can I'm going to use GIMP uh, GIMP's already loaded so because it's already loaded I can just double click on both of them and go edit with GIMP um, so there's the there's the texture it looks pretty flat you know it's 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 not really doesn't have a whole lot of detail I mean it, it's okay because I've got lighting applied uh, using um, but um, in in the game but um, I want to get this detail into that how do you do that well you, you actually can ambient inclusion you, you can actually get the shading from that and, and apply it to your main texture so you just got the one texture that looks even better. Um, what you want to do is uh, <clears throat> firstly go to your ambient occlusion map. Uh, if you're not sure which one it is, it'll be basically white with bits of shading, varying levels of shading from light grey to dark. Uh, that'll be ambient occlusion map. The if it didn't say on it and you weren't sure, um, that is actually ambient occlusion as well. But um, the metal maps they often will have white and very dark black and then that's all they have um, for the most part um, so that'll be your metallic ones you can't use those um, in copper cube so but you can use this so this is interesting so you can go firstly go to your ambient, ambient occlusion map go layer transparency add alpha channel so now we want to get rid of the white and just have the shading only and then we're going to add it to this this texture here so you go color to alpha. Notice how it's blanked out. That's because you've got to go to image. You've got to select mode. You've got to have it in RGB scale. So once you change to RGB, so then you can do it. Most of the time you'll be able to do it, and there's no issue. But sometimes you, you do have to select that. Otherwise, it won't work. Color to alpha, 100% white. That's by default is exactly what you want. So just you've done it. You clicked OK. Left click hold. Um, then move it and until that little arrow comes up then you hold it, keep holding it here all the way drag it over here, make sure it's not below but on top, you just want on top of that existing texture drop it in and there it is, it's done it's already, uh, just make sure that the sizes are the same when you do it and then that's fine so for example, see the difference? it's massive, massive amount of difference in texture detail uh, basically it's shading, pre-baked -pre shading actually which is cool um, I'm just going to scale that because I don't need 4K. I, I rarely use 4K textures unless it's used for a lot of different areas in the map. Uh, and then I'll use it. But uh, so base console uh, to 2K. There it is. So overwrite that one. This is the two uh, two K with the greater detail. Watch it. Watch the difference. See that? 
quite a bit of nice uh, increase in shading, basically. Um, so that's that's an improvement. Um, so that's good. So that's one thing you can do. You can actually also add, if you want, emissive as well. So this one's black background. So obviously you've got to add a layer, transparency, add for channel, color to alpha. This time it's black. So click on the white, drag it to the bottom left, click on OK. Now that's that's 2K. This one's scale that one to 2K as well. And that should work. Left click on it, hold it, drag it across, keep holding it, drop it in, boom. Okay, that's got a very cool effect of uh, adding lighting uh, to that little texture. Let me just save that. Try that one again. So if you weren't sure how to add the emissive lighting, you can actually combine it together, both the ambient occlusion and the uh, emissive as well. Uh, so let's refresh that. That's that one. That looks cool, doesn't it? Nice. That is very cool. I might use that in my game. I can turn it on and off using uh, two different textures, I suppose. Um, is there any way to do it? It's like a light map baked onto the texture, if you like. Um, anyway, so that's the sort of things you can do to increase, uh, change your existing textures to make them a little bit better. Um, you can, in some cases, use uh, roughness texture maps as well, but you need to play with that a little bit so you only get just enough. Uh, detail showing without corrupting the uh, image too much um, but basically it's the same method yeah just drop it in there and adjust you may want to adjust the opacity for different uh, images but anyway yeah so this that works it's pretty cool isn't it so that's what you can do to uh, fix up your, some of your textures a bit better cheers